Well, good day, Kirsten. How are you today? Look, just groovy. What have you been up to? No, no, no. Karen, tell us what you've been up to today. Karen, how's your, how's your, how's your day going? What? It's good. They did, they did their car like it was attacked by zombies for Halloween. It says, help us. And there's like bloody handprints all over the car. That's amazing. Halloween excerpt. <laughs> Tomorrow's Halloween. We went to the Zen Garden. And it was very serene and beautiful. I loved it very much. Zen cats. The Zen cats. The Zen cats. I think the one was pregnant. We're gonna have Zen kittens soon. It's very peaceful. We could have stayed there all day. Scott was like, go into the car. Reach to the air. <laughs> but that's okay. And then we went to what was the name of the garden? So home uh, there's a lot of bowels in this. It's a botanical garden. Which is not like an ordinary botanical garden. It was a tropical, luscious Hawaiian garden where the locals hang out. Lots of people picnicking. Someone was getting married. Someone was getting married. And the special treat of the whole day is that we found out that mongoose are an invasive species, but only because people brought them here. But we got to see mongoose and they were awesome. I did not take one with us. Scott won't allow that. No mongoose in the car. Over here. And it was beautiful. And we drove through two mountains today. Yes. We went in tunnels. Which I looked up the mountain range but I can't remember what they are now. We will add them as a subtitle later. <laughs> There are two mountain ranges in Hawaii, one on the island that we are on, one to the east and one to the west, and they run parallel to each other. Ah, excellent research on that. Oh, thank you. I Look at that. I know. I've noticing that, too. Yeah. I don't know where we are. Um, um, we're in Honolulu, but... This is, it may be a hike later, but this is the least it's of our... It's a little our, hot for hiking. ...of our busy days. Right. The last two days were kind of packed. What about keep yawning? Well, we didn't. We still didn't get extra sleep because we went to bed really early, and that, that's super. We did not get to bed early. We got to bed early. We went, late. To, we went to bed late and still got up early. Sorry. And then, um, the day star gets very bright in the window in the morning. So it's Saturday night. We had another decent day, right? Right. Good day. It was good. Drove yeah. around. Great Saw some stuff. Museum. Great museum. Mongooses. Saw mongooses. We went to the, Tem the, the temple. Japanese temple. Saw the koi fish. And yeah, I caught the koi that fish. temple was amazing. And now we're having uh, Thai food from a food truck to top off the day. And what else do we have tonight? We have a special, special surprise for Karen, but beyond that, I think we're, we're done for the day. Oh, yeah. We're done. Karen's already done with the surprise and she doesn't know what it is yet. <laughs> She's ready to go sleep after her dinner. I, I am. She's I'm ready for, for night night. So. <laughs> All right, well. We did we'll, almost four miles again today. We've been walking. Yes. We're with the walker. Right. And I was chasing mongoose. And Kirsten is chasing mongoose. <laughs> Those mongoose were cool. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. Good night. Watching I don't know, I'm reading. I'm, she's I'm reading, I'm watching her. I'm reading, and I like that you read and to me. I almost want your phone number so you can read to me. I just read to you. <laughs> you should hear Kirsten's me do, a good reader. You should hear me do Uncle Remus. It's amazing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's bedtime with Karen. <laughs> It's Karen's bedtime stories. It's, it's <laughs> seven nineteen. It's time for bed. <laughs> and she's not just saying this because we want to film it. She really wants to go to bed. Yes, it's nine o'clock my time. I go to bed at eight o'clock, like clockwork every single day. So it's what my nine o'clock at my house is, Grandma. 
not just with my friends, but with my kids too. Okay. The three Billy Goats Gruff. Do you know where that what country that comes from? Where the story originated? No, Hungary. No. Oh. Norway. It's a Scandinavian tale. Oh. Once upon a time, Scott turned off the air conditioner. Just just do the arrow okay, or turn the button off. I turned the power off. Disappointing. So I'll turn itself back on. We pulled through that one. Well, last night it went off and it stayed off because this morning there were no lights on it. So, yes, the Three Billy Goats Gruff is a Norwegian uh, legend slash fairy tale. Okay. So once upon a time there were three billy goats. What's the difference between a legend and a fairy tale? Well, a legend I think would be more based on fact. I don't think this is, this is more of a fairy tale, I think, since it involves goats and trolls. Okay. And the goats are speaking. Hmm. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats who were to go up to the hillside to make themselves fat. And the name of all three was Gruff. On the way up was a bridge over a cascading stream they had to cross. And under the bridge lived a great ugly troll with eyes as big as saucers and a nose as long as a poker. So first of all came came the youngest billy goat gruff to cross the bridge trip trap trip trap went the bridge who's that tripping over my bridge roared the troll oh it is only i the tiniest billy goat gruff and i'm going up the hillside to make myself fat said the billy goat with such a small voice now i'm coming to gobble you up said the troll oh no pray don't take me i am too little that i am said the billy goat Wait a little bit till the second billy goat gruff comes. He's much bigger. Well, be off with you, said the troll. A little while after came the second billy goat gruff to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge, roared the troll. Oh, it's the second billy goat gruff, and I'm going up the hillside to make myself fat, said the billy goat, who hadn't such a small voice. Now I'm coming to gobble you up, said the troll. Oh no, don't take me. Wait a little longer, for the big billy goat gruff comes up. He's much bigger. Very well, be off with you, said the troll. But just then, up came the big billy goat gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge, for the billy goat was so heavy that the bridge creaked and groaned under him. Who's that tramping over my bridge, roared the troll. It is I, the big billy goat gruff said the billy goat, who had an ugly hoarse voice, voice of his own. Now I'm coming to gobble you up, roared the troll. Well, come along. I've got two spears and I'll poke your eyeballs out at your ears. I've got, besides, two curling stones and I'll crush you to bits, body, and bones. That was what the big billy goat said. And then he flew at the troll and he poked his eyes out with his horn, crushed him to bits, body, and bone, and tossed him out into the cascade. And after that, he went up the hillside. There, there, the billy goats got so fat, they were scarcely able to walk home again. And if the fat hasn't fallen off them, why, they're still fat. And so, snip, snap, snout, this tale's told out. <laughs> Good. Now you're going to have horror stories about a billy goat poking someone's eyes out. And now it's time to go CB 9 -8.